So, you're new to Town of Salem 2. Maybe you played the original Town of Salem and have returned now that the game's free to play. Regardless, let me warmly welcome you to the game. It's always nice to see new players, though I doubt you'll get that sentiment from anyone in-game. This is the first in a series of videos where I hope to explain some things, both about the game itself and about the community, unwritten rules, that sort of deal. Here we will delve into the community side of things, with abbreviations and their meanings. We will start with VFA. VFA, or Vote for Affiliation, is a standard practice undertaken when the town lacks sufficient evidence to lynch someone. It will consist of everyone voting in a wave, going up the list from numbers 1 to 15, with everyone claiming their alignment. What's an alignment, you ask? Well, you can see this by hovering over your roll card with your mouse, or of course you can make it up. Alignments are as follows. Town Investigative, or TI, Town Protective, TP, Town Support, TS, Town Killing, TK, and Town Power, TPOW. Town of Salem players will note the similarities between this and VFR, Vote for Roll, in the old game. The reason this is discouraged here is because of roles like the Doomsayer and the Ritualist. The Doomsayer must guess three non-TI roles, and doing so will kill all the guest players, and allow the Doomsayer to leave the town. And the Ritualist can guess a single, non-TI, player's role at night to deal them an unstoppable attack. If they mess up though, they're outed to every player in the game. So be careful who you reveal your real role to. Doomsayer doesn't get any uh, negative consequences though. It's worth noting that Town Investigative roles are immune to Doom and Rit, so those roles are expected to openly claim and post information daily. Next, we will move on to a 1 for 1. A 1 for 1, 1F1, one one, is when two players contradict each other with their results, their claims, or it's otherwise a he said, she said sort of disagreement. For example, 10 the Seer claims that 3 and 6 are enemies. The town presses 3 and 6 for claims, and finding that they both claim TP, they elect to lynch 3, as they claimed later than 6. Yet, if 3 is real, then 6 will be lynched the following day. Or shot by a vigilante, if one's available. Of course, such situations are favourable for an executioner, as even if their target is revealed as innocent, they will leave the town with no consequences. Next, we have reg hunting. Reg hunting is simpler to explain. Being reg hunted is being specifically targeted because people recognize you from a previous game, perhaps you killed them last game and they took issue, or maybe you have the same name as a popular YouTuber. Next, we have Psychic and Seer Wills. In Town of Salem 2, the Psychic and the Seer are some very prominent town investigative roles, able to direct the ebb and flow of entire games in some cases. Here's a quick explanation on what they do. The Psychic. On odd nights, night 1 and night 3 for example, they will pick a player, and they will then have a vision involving that player and two others, at least one of which will be evil. On even nights, night 2 or night 4 for example, they will pick a player, and then they'll have a vision involving that player and one other, and at least one of them will be good. The Seer. The Seer selects two players each night, and they will be told if these players are friendly with each other or enemies with each other. For example, two town members will appear as friends, while a town member and a coven member will appear as enemies. Same for coven and a werewolf, the list goes on. Hope you're following. If you find yourself mentioned by one of these roles at the start of the day, claim your affiliation FAST. I've seen many new players get caught out by this, get lynched, even as town because this caught them off guard or they said the wrong thing, so keep your eye on the chat. Why me? If someone's voted up and asks why me or any variation of that, you are obligated by law to guilty them immediately. I don't make the rules. But on a more serious note, that wraps up this video. I hope it helps out, as new players are great for a game and I sure hope you'll stick around. Of course there's a chance that I missed something, so if there's anything else you feel should be brought up here, by all means bring it up in the comments. I'll also be happy to answer any other questions, to the best of my knowledge. Well, of course, I've been playing for a while, there's still some stuff I need to learn. 
I hope to have more of these guides out soon, going over more game mechanics, specifics on roles, etc. But until then, I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye, and good luck.